Hello everyone. I'm Zhao Lianhua from Tsinghua University. I'm so honored to be here, and I will show our people Mid in the Middle Attacks Revisited, Key Recover, Correction, and Pre Image Attacks. Firstly, I will introduce some backgrounds. Then, I will explain automatic MITM Key Recover Attacks and uh, its application for skinning. Next, I will describe exploiting non-linearly constrained neutral words in MITM attacks. And finally, I will introduce the MITM-based collision attacks. So first, let's take a look at the three of state which is the middle attack. The attack consists of two parts. In the MITM stage, we fleet out some wrong key candidates and reduce the key space. In the key testing stage, we test the surviving key candidates in a brute force manner. Like the picture shows, if we assume the block size is m bits and the key size is l bits and we assume the key can split into three independent key key one key two and key three some m bits information of a state uv can be partially computed along the forward direction by f1p without knowing key two and the same embed can also be computed along the backward direction by inverse of F2C without knowing Q1. Therefore, we will get 2L minus M key candidates remain. Then we test the surviving key candidates using some plain test, cyber test to find the correct key in key, can, in key testing stage and the total computation complexity is, can be expressed can be expressed by this formula at Eurocrypt 2021 the MITM pre-image attacks on AS like hashing was thoroughly modeled as constrained optimiz optimization problems, which was solved with LILP technicals by Bob et al. Next, I will introduce the formal description of the MITM technical. Like the picture shows, state SCNC and the state SKSE are the starting state. The ending states are E plus and E minus. In the forward computation, the path starts from SCNC and the SKSE leading to E plus, and in the backward computation, the path starting from SCNC and the SKSA leading to E minus. Partial match is between the E plus and the E minus. Moreover, the cells of starting states are partitioned into different subsets with different meanings. Neutral word or for the forward computation I denote as the red as the blue cell. Each word of the backward computation are denoted by red cell, and the no con constants are denoted by green cell. Besides, there will be unknown words in both the forward and backward chart, denoted by red cell by note by what seal.
The number of blue cells in the study state is the initial degree of freedom for the forward competition. And it is defined as lambda plus. Similarly, we use lambda minus defines the number of red cells in the starting state. In forward and backward computation, the DOF will, will be consumed. We use sigma plus and sigma minus to represent the accumulated DOF consumed in forward and backward chart, respectively. Therefore, the remaining degree of freedom of forward and backward computation, DOF plus and DOF minus, can be computed easily. In addition, the degree of match is denoted by DOM. So, the objective function is to maximize the minimal view of DOF plus, DOF minus, and DOM. Next, let me introduce our automatic MITM key recover attacks. Because our aim is to recover key, we need to distinguish whether the DOF is from key and the consumed DOF is from key or not. Therefore, we divide the lambda plus and the sigma plus to, to two parts. In the MITM key recover attack, the full key space must be tested, and we must identify the unicode secret key. Besides, in the key recover attack, we prefer not to exhaust the full code book of the targeted cipher. Therefore, the degrees of freedom from S keys E cannot be depleted. While the degrees of freedom from S E and C should be used up. And there is at least one green seal in the plaintiff state. These conditions can be represented by equations like this. Next, I will show how we use our MITM K recover attack of skinny. Let's briefly recall the structure of skinning. Like the picture shows, skinning bases on the twinking framework. We apply our method for skinning in 3N. The version with an M bit block size, a 3M bit key, and a 0 bit tweak tweaky. Each round the state is updated with five operations, subsales, and constants, and the round tweaky, shift rows, and the max columns. And the key register is arranged into three four times four squares, denoted as TK1, TK2, and TK3, respectively. Then I will show how to build the MILP model for funding MITM attacks of skinning and 3N. Objective function. The so objective function is to maximize the minimal view of DOF plus, DOF minus, and DOM. For the starting states, we have to know the number of blue and red cells. So we introduce alpha and beta for each cell in the starting state. Alpha equals 1 if and only if the cell is blue, while beta equals 1 if and only if the cell is red. Then we can compute the number of blue cells by adding all the view of alpha. And also, we can compute the number of red cells by adding all the views of beta. So, 
we can we can use alpha and beta to represent the lambda ENC plus, lambda KC plus, lambda ENC minus, lambda KC minus, like this. For the ending states, we assume this match matching only happens at the max columns. So each column of the ending states E plus and E minus are linked by the MC operation. We can enumerate all possible patterns and convert these local constraints into linear inequalities using the convenient whole computation method. In computation passes, we build rules for XOR, ART, and MC. I do not describe the rules in details here because the time is limited. Besides, we should add the constraints which mentioned earlier. Solving the model, we identify a 23 round MITM carry curve attack of skinny N, 3N, as shown in the figure. The starting states are Y1 and the three twinkling words TK1 to 1, TK2 to 1, TK3 to 1. The matching process happens at the MC operation between Z12 and X13. There are three blue cells and three red cells in state SKSA. So, Lambda KSA minus equals 3 and uh, Lambda KSA plus equals 3 to. It consumes two cells in the forward computation. Hence, we can get DOF minus equals 1. In the same way, we also can get DOF plus equals 1. At the matching point, we have DOM from the, from the first two columns of C12 and X13. This is the algorithm of 23 round can recover attack. We do not discuss the details here. Using the same method, we also analyze fox skinning. A summary of skinning and fox skinning is shown in the table. Our attack is the first 23 round single key attack on skinning 100, 128, 384, and skinning 64, 192. And the memory needed in our attacks is so small. Next, I will introduce another part. Exploiting nonlinearly constrained neutral words in MITM attacks. In MITM attack of spinning, we have to solve two systems of equations in order to compute the allowable views for the neutral words. In the attack of skinning and the previous MITM pre image attacks, the two systems of equations are linear, so it is easy to derive the solution. However, we encounter many MITM attacks with nonlinear constrained neutral words, and there is no efficient method for solving them. We present a table based technical to solve the problem. The algorithm shows here. Moreover, we can apply the technical to the MITM pre image attack, and the time complexity is not in quest.
We applied the algorithm to cross 256 and sentence hash. Pre image attack on six rounds of ghost transformation of ghost 256 is shown in the figure. Without giving more details, I only show the time complexity is 2 to 240 and the memory complexity is about 2 to 152. Similarly, the sixth round MITM attack has the 10 hash is shown here. The time complexity and memory complexity is 2 to 208 and 2 to 48. Finally, I will introduce the last part of our paper, MITM-based collision attacks. We call an algorithm a T0 partial target pre-image if it can produce a message whose hash field is a random element in a given subspace. Suppose that there is an algorithm that can produce a different T0 partial target pre-image. Then we expect to find a correlation by running the algorithm 2 to W times H minus T of two times to identify a correlation on the H0 hash field. Given an MITM characteristic, the framework for correlation is described in the following algorithm. We do not describe the algorithm in details as well. According to our analysis, we finally get the time complexity of the attack is like this. So, in the model, we need to maximize the minimal field of T of plus minus T of 2, T of minus minus T of 2, M minus T of 2, and T of 2. To determine the degree of match, we consider two situations according to the position where the matching happens. If the matching point is placed at the last one, we found in this case we can ignore the coloring information of T. If the matching point is not at the last round, the XOR of the target T can happen in the forward computation or in the backward computation. The yellow cells are, pro are prefixed constants. Like the figure shows, we found that we can regard the yellow cells as green cells in the rows of XOR. We apply the automatic model of MITM collision attack to Whirlpool and get a six round MITM attack as shown in the figure. The time complexity is about 2 to 248, and the memory complexity is about 2 to 248. In addition, we also apply our method to Grosto and found a six round collision attack on Grosto 256 and a six-round collision attack on ghost 512. The collision attack on six-round ghost 258 is shown here. The time complexity is 2 to 124, and the memory complexity is 2 to 124. This figure is a collision attack on H1 goes to 512. The 
sum complexity is two to 248 and the memory complexity is uh, 2 to 248. Summary of the results is shown in the table. We improved the pre-image attacks on round reduced goes to 256 and its output transformation by one round. For collision attacks, the first six round craft, the first six round classical collision attack on Wopo is provided. Also, we give the first six round collision attack and eight round collision attack on goes to 248 58 and goes to 512 respectively. If you are interested in your paper, welcome to read it. And that's all. Thank you.